Nobody could have seen the tragic death of Matthew Perry coming, or could they? Here's what Perry himself had to say on the topic. Matthew Perry was a truly beloved star in the entertainment industry, not just because of his portrayal as Chandler Bing on Friends, but also because he was one of the most relatable and down-to-earth celebs around. As such, fans are unlikely to get over Perry's untimely passing anytime soon, if ever. In his memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, Perry opened up about his life, his loves, some pretty messy moments, and his struggles with substance abuse. He also opened up about his addiction to pain medicine, including Dilaudid, which he was given during treatment of pancreatitis back in 2000. Perry wrote, It was my new favorite drug, and I would have stayed in that hospital for a hundred days if they kept administering it. But Perry's honesty about the biggest battles of his life isn't the only reason why so many of Perry's fans felt so close to him, despite never knowing him personally. Secrets kill you. Secrets kill people like me. He was also very frank when it came to the topic of his death, and often predicted how people would feel about it when it happened. Perry even once said that he didn't think it would surprise anyone if he died sooner than expected. Even though he had friends who encouraged him to get help for his addiction struggles, Perry knew that his death wouldn't come as that much of a shock to his loved ones. That's because everyone in his inner circle knew about his struggles. In his book, Perry writes about why he wanted to write the book in the first place, and his reasoning really hits differently after his death. Perry wrote, I say in the book that if I did die, it would shock people, but it wouldn't surprise anybody. And that's what I'm doing with writing this book. That's why I wanted to do it. But Perry also added that he wrote his book because he wanted his fans to know that they weren't alone, especially when it came to their darkest days and lowest moments. With that said, Perry certainly wasn't alone either. In Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing, Matthew Perry said that he felt it was important to tell the world his story, no matter how many difficult chapters there were for him to write. He wrote, I wanted to talk about the highs and the lows, because people are suffering out there, and maybe if they hear a story from somebody they've seen on TV that's worse than theirs, or just the same as theirs, they'll be filled with hope, which is the key thing. Thankfully, Perry not only told his story, but also made a huge impact on other people's lives while he was at it. After news of his death broke, Hollywood actor and close friend Mira Sorvino wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter, There will never be another like him. He lit up so many hearts in so many ways. Godspeed to paradise. Meanwhile, chart topper Adele took a moment out of her show to remember the actor, while Gwyneth Paltrow shared a sweet tribute to him on Instagram, writing, He was so funny and so sweet and so much fun to be with. We drove out to swimming creeks, had beers in the local college bar, and kissed in a field of long grass. It was a magical summer. Friends co-creators Marta Kaufman and David Crane might have said it best, however. In their statement, the duo said, It still seems impossible. All we can say is that we feel blessed to have had him as part of our lives.